YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for Avatar Osendai Dawn Brothers, episode 19. So this episode, I think, was the most fillery episode we've gotten so far. Not in a bad way. I actually thought it was quite a good filler episode. But it was probably the filler episode that you could skip. Like, you could not watch this one and not miss anything in, in regards to the main narrative. Because usually, uh, even the most fillery Dawn Brothers episodes have a little bit more going for the main plot. And this really didn't have a whole lot going on in regards to it. There was one scene kind of shoved in there, but even that wasn't important. But basically, this week's plot was about phone booths and ghosts. Uh, we pick up with Oni's sister texting a boy. She's talking to her aunt, and her aunt's like, Well, back in my day, we didn't text the boys we like. We had to sneak out and talk to them on the phone booth. And then there was, like, the danger if their parents answered. And basically, it's one of those things where you got a nostalgic person being like, man, everything was better back when it was worse. I miss things being inconvenient. It sets up a loop for the end of the episode, uh, but it sets up this premise about phone booths and talks about the history of phone booths, oddly enough. And there is a monster of the week guarding this phone booth. And Oni's sister happens upon this girl that's in a phone booth who's waiting for a call. And it turns out she's a ghost. It was almost like reminding me of those creepy stories that I would hear like in middle school uh, that people would tell or you'd find in these books about like someone running into a girl um, and like giving her a ride home or talking to her. And then they find out she's been dead the whole time. Like I remember this creepy story about this girl that got a ride home and she left her scarf in the person's car and then he went to give it back and like, oh no, she's dead. And he took the scarf to the grave. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm scaring myself now. Anyway. Ghosts. It's interesting. The ghosts. So basically, they find out she's a ghost, and her unfinished business is this call with this boy. And the rangers are trying to help her with that. And there's some funny moments with it. Basically, all the guys try to go out with her on a date, and there's all these different varying styles on what happens with the date, like um, Don Momotaro not appreciating the small details, uh, Inui brother turning into a dog for her because she likes dogs, but she said that she's not allowed to tell the specifics, so like the rangers still don't know he's the ranger, but that was pretty funny. Um, and while that's going on, Kiji brother winds up actually tracking down the guy that she's actually trying to call, but he's obviously older now because time has passed, and they're like, well, we can't have her meet him like this, so let's have him call on the phone and sort of reconcile this. Um, but then we find out that she actually is the monster of the week. It's a ghost this time, and she's been protecting the phone booth. And at the end resolution of the episode, we kind of intersplice the final battle between the Megazord and the big version of the monster with her on this phone call getting closure. And it's kind of a nice scene. Like, this was honestly a nice filler plot, I thought. Um, but we end with her getting closure on that, the monster stops attacking, they're able to defeat it and resolve everything. And then at the end of the episode, it all loops back to the whole uh, talking to a boy you like conversation differences between now and the past because Oni sister's texting the guy she likes, who was from a previous episode too, I believe, and she decides to just call him. And then when she does, his mom answers, uh, which loops right back to the beginning of the episode from the conversation she was having with her aunt. Um, in regards to other stuff happening, the only other thing that really happened was, well, the creepy... Um, villain guy that's trying to figure out laughter is in it for a hot second. But also, there's a brief scene where Gold is about to join the other rangers and he gets stopped by Murasame and they have a battle. And it's a fun little battle, but it definitely felt shoe it felt shoehorned in, like weird for the pacing. Like overall, even though this episode could easily be skipped in regards to the main narrative, I actually thought it was a really nice entertaining filler plot. Like, I was actually engaged with what was going to happen. I very rarely care about toku filler characters. I thought it was enjoyable. It had some fun classic Don Brothers hijinks, like Inui Brother turning into the dog form was kind of a classic Don Brothers bit, I felt. A little bit of a quirky comedy bit there. And it was just overall, it was enjoyable. Like, you could skip this episode, but I would recommend it. Like, if you like the series and the cast, it was enjoyable. I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 5, because even though it was enjoyable, it wasn't essential. And honestly, I felt that the shoehorned-in battle of gold and purple was, well, shoehorned-in. Kind of needless. It felt like it was only there because they were writing this episode and be like, oh yeah, we probably got to show off the new characters, especially gold for the merchandise or something like that. I felt it didn't really add a lot. Like, if you take that out, this episode almost felt like it could have happened before gold and purple were even introduced and I almost think they could have done it better like they could have done something here where you had this plot going on and had it sandwiched in between when gold and purple debuted to give that a little bit time to breathe 
maybe had gold more involved in the plot, trying to help this girl, you know, find closure because he's trying to find his way onto the team. And then you could have had the Murasame sword landing on Earth in the background and sort of had that stewing in the background that had this in the main plot rather than just shoving in a random fight scene that kind of messed up, I felt, the synergy of this episode. It just felt so out of place. It felt like a tacked on deleted scene from another episode. But it was still an overall enjoyable episode. What did you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get the notifications for all my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.